videos first. Alright. Um, three, two, one. So for today, we're going to be looking at the Assassin's Creed Arms. I do apologize that uh, this is coming out on Monday. That being said, I mean, we usually make these on Mondays. I want to make these on Fridays so that way more people can get their eyes on it. That being said, it's a little harder just because during the week I have a lot of things happening and I also have uh, work. So that's why I'm usually consistently putting these out on Monday because it just gives me more time to work on everything else aside from just this video. So. I do apologize these are coming out on Monday, but I'd rather put these out on Monday than not at all because I do think some of these pieces are really cool. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. Um, I should also mention the fact that uh, I will not be doing a review of the Assassin's Creed armor and a shader video because I already have those up. Um, I also already have the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock videos up, so I will most likely have at least the thumbnails up i will most likely have um aside from the thumbnails i would have i will have probably the hunter the class specific videos and then the the uh, review of assassin of the assassin's creed armor the shader video you guys can probably find it um just by searching my channel because i feel like those four videos will probably be something you're going to want to go towards more um i will probably have a showcase of all of the armor pieces that i do from these type of videos so you guys will most likely get another class specific video for the assassin's creed armor and going forward that's most likely what i'm going to be doing just because it makes no sense for me to make a review video when i already have a review video um now this gets a little complicated for older videos because in older videos i didn't do a shader video so in that case i will most likely make a shader video and depending on how i feel about the review video at the time i will most likely like make a newer one that being said it just really depends so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off we're gonna be looking at the hunter the mistyl's grips these are the assassin's creed arms for the helmet iron pledge ornament for the chest piece we're gonna be using the girl falcon for the boots plague breaker strides and then for the cloak the canis luna cloak for the shader and iron to or, or iron bone is the shader we're using i love the shader it's one of my favorite shaders in the game and honestly the reason we're using iron bone is because i really wanted to pinpoint just the armor pieces and it's really really cool because the mist the mistios grips with the girl falcon look really cool together just because it really um accentuates the armor pieces more than anything else because everything else is literally just like that really dark leather color and i really wanted to showcase the armor because it's literally only like three pieces here technically because the boots also have armor but they're taking the off color but overall i really really do like the set. It's probably mm, i want to say it's my favorite set here but i think the warlocks is pretty cool that being said the titans you guys are up next i will say i do apologize i'm not the biggest fan. so here is the titans I'm going to be honest with you, when I say it's not my favorite, specifically on the males, it's not my favorite. For the females, I think it looks amazing. Um, the specific reason is because the Phoenix Strife Type O looks way too big on the male Titans, but on the females, it looks perfect. So for the helmet, we're going to be using this ornament. I'm not even going to try to say the name. For the Lorelei Splendor, it's one of my favorite ornaments. It looks amazing. For the arms, obviously, Wolf Kiss Gauntlets. For the boots, <laughs> Plague Breaker Grease again. And then for the Mark, Godsbane Mark. So obviously, I'm going for a Viking type of thing, obviously. And I say obviously because uh, the Wolf Kiss Gauntlets is from the Assassin's Creed uh, Vikings game. And when I say that, I don't mean specifically it's based off of like the environment of the game i just mean it's based off of the main character because i did get a comment and i didn't even feel the need to like correct them because i don't remember saying that it was made specifically in like from the game as in oh it's based off the environment because i didn't feel like i needed to specify these are literally based off of the characters from assassin's creed not yeah either way um i think the arms are super cool so shadering wise we're using royal treatment just because i wanted there's there's a little annoying so the wolf kids gauntlets takes uh different colors to shit or to fur colored armor sets that we usually have for titans specifically there's a chess piece that has a fur that i was trying to go but unfortunately the arms uh the fur on the arms and the chest take shaders differently which is annoying so i was like fuck i'm not gonna use that chest piece i was thinking about using the wolf kiss chest piece 
but I didn't really want to do that because obviously we're going to get the wolf kiss uh, chest later in the in the future and I didn't want to use both of them uh, or I didn't want to use a chest piece twice uh, that being said I would most likely just use a chest piece um, Phoenix Strife type O is not bad and the devastation protocol or no devastation complex I think it's called the other one that looks exactly like this aside from the Phoenix uh, like uh, decals um, I was going to use that one instead but yeah, there's just a few problems with it specifically uh, again i think the phoenix strife type o just looks a bit bulky for the males for the females it looks amazing and it's the same thing for the uh uh devastation protocol not protocol devastation um something whatever the other one that looks like this and the wolf kiss uh chest piece looks way better because obviously it's made for those arms but i also think it would have been a little bit better because plague breaker would have looked really really cool with the wolf kiss chest piece so yeah, the royal treatment specifically we're using this shader uh, for the arms, uh, the fur. It gives it black a fur, and I wanted to combine it with the phoenix strife o, phoenix strife type O fur, which is black as well. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Just be, it might be the shader, honestly. It might be the fact that on males it looks kind of weird, but on females it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I my biggest just annoyance would just be the phoenix strife typo and i would just switch it out for the wolf kiss gauntlets and i feel like that would be fine so yeah let me know what you guys think about this one and last but not least warlocks we're going to be using the fell winter's helm for this one and i think i've done like a spin off of this one specifically using the skaldic chant robes with the hexer boots and the fell winter's helm the only difference is here is that we're going to be using the eagle's gloves which is the assassin's Cree armor and then the plague breaker bond so obviously we're using some plague breaker pieces here and i have already done the plague breaker uh videos i'm specifically going to be doing the review right like after this video uh the shader video is already done and then the class specific ones are already like the armor sets are already done so i just have to you know edit them and then do the voiceover and then we'll have them up hopefully by the end of this week um beginning of next week at the latest so yeah, really excited for that because the Blade Breaker set is really, really cool. But aside from that, um, Royal Protector is what we're using. I love this shader. It's one of my favorite shaders right now just because it looks really, really good. It gives the arms this really cool, like, dark leather look, which is super dope. And I I want to say this is the best one just because the Hunter one, um, it does look cool. It's just, like, not something, like, I have a lot of Girl Falcon looks now. And that's one that I'm like, I don't hate it i definitely don't hate it but i wouldn't like i wouldn't use it because i just have so many better girl falcon looks like legitimately girl falcon's probably my favorite exotic right now and that one's like that set that i made is not the worst like mind you i've had some pretty shitty ones but it's definitely like in the middle like warlocks on the other hand i think this is probably the, one of the best fellow winter's helm looks that i've done unfortunately i don't use fellow winter because i just don't really like the exotic so I would most likely switch it out for something that I actually do like. Um, that being said, it just, I, I love it. It looks, I feel like I literally look like a royal like guardian and it looks super, super dope. I also think the Playbreaker Bond looks really cool with this because the uh, actual like thing is a flower, the like hologram thing. It's a flower, which I think looks really cool. If I were to change anything, I would most likely go back and switch out the Royal Protector shader for Playbreaker and probably give it like, like a red glow just because i feel like a red rose would be much better that being said it would clash a little with the royal protector with everything else but i think the red rose would be way better so i definitely think this is the best one um hunters titans guardians or warlocks let me know what y'all think about this one i am working on a bunch of content i always say this but i legitimately do mean it like i okay so i'm working on the plague breaker armor review uh the shader video plus the hunter titan and warlock uh specific videos as well i'm currently trying to get the armor for the activity that being said it's really really aggravating because uh, it's probably one of the worst uh ways to get the armor in my opinion because it, like each onslaught takes like 10 15 minutes to com complete and then you're not even guaranteed an armor piece or anything like that um not only that it doesn't seem like we have any way to target farm right now which is pretty terrible not not that it really matters considering you have to unlock the armor before you can actually buy it from uh from uh, the usual vendor so that's stupid as well so 
my best bet is just to farm engrams which i don't even know how i would be able to farm engrams so yeah that the the activity armor will be most likely super late because again farming it is the worst thing in the world i'm also going to be target farming the uh the dungeon specifically like the first few encounters i'm i'll probably do the boss like for icebreaker but i'm not going to farm it because the boss is just way too aggravating i mean to be fair we did complete it it's just it was annoying and i didn't complete it on day one because honestly i didn't really give a shit so yeah i'm working on the dungeon armor the Eververse armor is already done. The Assassin's Creed armor, I was going to be doing some things for it, but I'm just going to be doing these specific videos because it just, it's much easier. And honestly, I don't feel like doing a whole revamp of the review and shader video when I already have them in my channel. It just mean it just seems stupid to uh, have two videos of the same content. So yeah, I'm current, currently working on that. I'm going to be doing, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't really care about the solo flawless for the new dungeon. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys um the whole reason why this video is well this video usually isn't late because obviously i use it post it on mondays but um the last call video will be coming out it'll probably be coming out either before or after this i don't know how i'm going to do it yet but the reason that video is out is because i've been playing more world of warcraft more than anything else just because uh destiny 2 uh aside from the activity i don't really i don't really see what else i would be doing right now i was expecting this season to be a little bit more meaty i was expecting like maybe like uh like another activity maybe un like maybe actually i was expecting like two or three activities and then like maybe a new area where we can like do stuff but no we just got one activity and uh, that's it like we're legitimately so i don't to be fair i haven't finished the story yet just because i cannot be bothered to do busy work but i've seen that it doesn't really unlock anything so i'm just over here like thinking what the fuck do i do now because again the activity takes way too long for the amount of rewards we get and i know people are going to be like well drink one of the tonics i mean that's cool i guess but i have to drink like one tonic because uh again it takes like 15 to 10 minutes to complete uh a, an onslaught which means that usually you'll only be able to uh get benefits from one tonic because it's only 20 minutes you know you can upgrade them but i honestly don't really care about the tonics aside from them giving me more arm more chances of loot but when i get two two fucking hand cannons in a row and i'm all i'm looking for is armor that's where i'm kind of like i'd rather play something that will respect my time a little bit more and world of warcraft is respecting this my time a lot like it's crazy once you on once you level up a character to level 80 your alts get a 5% boost for XP and it stacks. I think what my friend said up to 50 times. I could be super wrong on that, but I mean, if it stacks up to 20, it's going to be worth it. So yeah, I just think destiny two doesn't really respect my time. Um, if they really did, they would be giving me more rewards at the end of one onslaught because again, onslaught takes too long. And I, at this point I am rambling, but it's just, I really do want to make a video talking about this season just because, uh, I'm a little disappointed i'm gonna be honest i mean the story is pretty cool it's just more of a from a gameplay standpoint it's just kind of disappointing there's nothing much for me to do don't want to do it anymore a little bit more aside from the fact that like there's have with the game right now specifically like how getting exotics is arc and last season or because leveling up the crypt arc legitimately feels like you're punching your nuts um literally i don't I just feel like they have, they have nothing to do in the game um the new activity is fine i just don't want to run onslaught every day for the rest of the season um i would have preferred if they gave us something i know people are going to be like they're going to give us new activities later me now so that way i can have stuff to do now instead of having nothing to do now and then it's really annoying armor itself i know i went into a huge tangent at the end but it's just it's hard to like really advocate for this game when there's dick all to do and i know people are gonna say oh well new pillar and are always have stuff to do that's not a good that's good like defense for destiny 2 right now so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later